good homestand so far. You won three series in a row now. I just talk yeah. about the advantages of, of playing here at home where you just well, seem to do very well. There's so many, and as you know, we uh, this had the potential to be a, a great homestand. Now it's kind of just a good one. It's a kind of a heartbreaking loss there because yeah. you, you came all the way back. Um, just your thoughts overall. Yeah, uh, very disappointing loss. Very disappointing. Um, the bullpen has been really good, and then today, you know, it just didn't go our way. Um, the shame was we didn't hit early. You know, first five innings we were asleep. We played like we were asleep, and finally we got something on the board, got the lead. You know, with uh, with Marino's uh, sacrifice fly, and um, you know you can't give that up. Um, you know, no disrespect to the hitter, but you can't let a hitter hitting 176 beat you in that situation. You got to get the out. Uh, we intentionally put Gus Ring on. Um, you know, this is a guy who's been an all-star in this league. We got behind on him 3-0. You know, which kind of put us in a bad situation. You don't want to hit him, beat you, put him on first base, and you know you're facing the righty, righty versus a kid hitting 176, and you get two strikes, you can't put him away. Um, the the deeper issue, though, frankly, is the fact of, you know, we had to use um, James for a number of innings over the last few days. That's an after effect of us not scoring runs in the last two days before this. Um, and that gets missed someplace along the way. So uh, the bullpen gave it up. Bullpen gave it up because we got to keep going to them. I mean, how many times do you expect these guys to come through night in, night in, night out? And um, yeah, I'm still waiting for our offense to pick it up. Yeah, Miramonte's even out there. Look, he still looks tired, in my opinion. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, he's he's one of those guys. To be honest with you, he probably pitches better when he's tired than when he's not. Um, he's not a below guy. He's a guy that you know lives on his movement. And, um, you know, we got the situation. The guy hit the ground ball through the, through the infield. You know, that was nothing. Um, we got the out. And, um, you know, then uh, with the guy at second base, I didn't want to take a chance. And, you know, uh, they, got sack, they sacked him over. I didn't want to take a chance on uh, facing the lefty again with him. And we got the double play. So it worked exactly the way it was supposed to. But in the eighth, it didn't. You know, we, uh, you know, we had the matchup with, uh, you know, their big first baseman. Got the out we needed there. And, um, and unfortunately, couldn't make the pitch when we needed to. I made a comment to Ralph, game's on the line right now. And next thing you know, the ball's in the gap. Uh, your thoughts on Carden today? Um, wasn't bad, wasn't spectacular. Did no. It, you know, solid enough job, yeah. you know, first batter of the game. And then it... You know, that, that's, uh, that's going to happen. You know, he made a mistake pitch up. And, you know, they're, they're, actually, I thought their guy smoked that ball. So, um, you know, you're going to give those up every now and then. I thought we just weren't as efficient as we normally are. That Mike normally, uh, you know, goes after guys. We were picking around the zone more today than we normally do, and and the result was his pitch counts up, pitch counts up. Next thing you know, I got to pull him out of the ball game. He's at 100 pitches. Um, you do have two days where you do not have games, right. uh, and a huge series coming up uh, with Washington. Talk a little bit about that. Obviously, it's a long trip out there, yeah. but you, you got to. Well, go we're going to use one of the off days to do that, so it's not like we're traveling in the middle of the night. So we'll have tomorrow will be a regular day off, and we'll get up early on uh, on Tuesday and get on the bus and travel all day, get in there in time to have a good meal, get a good night's sleep, um, and then play doubleheader the next day. So. Uh, you know, the shame was that, you know, both Evansville and Travers lost today. And then you put yourself in a position where you're one game back going into that series. You know, you, have a good, you do a good job at series, you come back home in first place. Now, a game like this that we kick, you know, now all of a sudden you, you hurt that chance a lot. You know, now you've got to sweep to do that. And, you know, we've just got to, we've got to do a better job of putting teams away, not only when we have leads, but, you know what, you got the series, now go for the sweep. Put them away. Good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks.